absolute sliver of hell for it onto is free to try and retaliate. But this tap of Coco is actually working out for Christopher just by clicking on it. Just a little bit of health remaining on that tap of Coco on the switch. And we're going to take a look at good amount of I got that download boost, I believe, and Paul, he even has the supercharge Pickable Havoc using the Thunder instead of just the Thunderbolt version. Yes, his does. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Speed type is going to give the first Pokemon advantage to Paul. Yeah, Paul able to knock out that Pokemon before he can do anything but take that Z attack, uh, take that Z move, the return coming out for him to feel good damage back, but Paul is content to start setting up that Snorlax. Well, at the moment, there are only very few things that can, can get through that Snorlax. He's pulling on two, isn't exactly known for his really high damage output. The Arcanine's trying to help out a little bit. So I bring the into the animation the attack part of the boost from the person not so useful, but the defense part is going to be so, so valuable, especially if Christopher has got his own Snorlax in the back. Really, any of his remaining possible Pokemon yeah. are going to appreciate the two stages of the game. There's so much more to Snorlax. Papu Koko protects itself on Paul's side, doesn't want to take an extreme speed or a flare blip. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Snorlax thinks that he can survive the full power of the Sazu. Plus the Facade now. We're going to be slowly taking damage from that poison. But again, we saw in game two just how much havoc that Snorlax could wreck before the toxic became available. There's so much fun in this. You do have to question if Crystal has something that could survive the taking of the hour. Of course, if it lets us stick around, there is going to be the activation of the battery, even with just the damage from the poison between the turns. Crystal doesn't want to get hit by one of these. Our facades, though. All right, top of the Oh, no, yes. It looks like his plan right now is to just stall, 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 and try to get those toxics to start. That makes the recover basically useless as an option here for that Porygon too. It didn't even get to recover the full amount, but yeah. it pulled itself back up to about 100%. It was already above 50. This Porygon too, dealt with it, put back in its place by this small edge. We do see the very activation. It's a city to get that just shy of its full amount of health. And the Archive is certainly going to struggle there. A very smart time to support the Archive and not follow up with an attack into that slot. All right, well, Top of Coco's Thunderbolt isn't enough to pick up the KO onto Porygon 2. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so trying to get some damage down with that Flare Blitz, but three stages of defense boost, the Flare Blitz and the Porygon 2 just not doing it. in the back uh, if Paul has decided to bring that could be setting up for that wish condition. Yeah, that pretty much will seal up the game. We do see the Snorlax come out from Christopher, but his is a little bit behind the pace. A little bit. Yeah, that was the about The race to set up the Snorlax. Paul was comfortable on Paul. He's got the curses in play. There's no special attacks and there's no other the way to try and deal with this Snorlax now. It's likely to get to work in the cycle it's not. And at the same time, Tapu Koko pulled out the electric train. He's going to be able to start working on things. Going to work on this game. Yep, Paul did bring the guard on the book and blocks it for its troubles on the switches. Uh, not, the, not the worst thing to have happen is to avoid any kind of intimidates thanks to all of the work that Paul's other Pokemon have put in beforehand. Christopher now trying to catch up with those curses. Will is even on the attack front, but nowhere close to the defense front. That is more than 50% damage dealt by with that facade. Eats the berry, goes 
up a little bit there. Garchomp takes some poison damage, and now Snorlax will also take some poison damage. And, uh, you know, getting that one curse is good. But it's not enough. No, no, no. no, he's uh, way behind the pace. And even if he manages to slow this game yeah, down and level up the curse, he would be attacking this turn. Of course, because he's not going to put it in the fight. He's still going to struggle to get there. And he's not going to be able to do as much damage. There's no status condition to go about his facade. I'll be interested to see what sort of thing he's going to do with his dodge. If he goes for Earth, but he's going to do a lot of damage. He's going to do a lot of damage. He's going to do a lot of damage. Again, dealing more than 50% damage there, so Snorlax, even though it's recovering with those berries, uh, not actually being able to save hit points. Well, the chances of Christopher winning this game get slower. Uh, slower. No. <laughs> It is going to be stuck. It's going to be like, get out of here. Get this damage power So I saw how much it did to this bar. Can I get the flinch as well? Marks like it missed, though. It can also miss. The real problem is, of course, how far behind. Does it have extreme speed? It's better. Oh, I don't know if it does. It does, maybe. Try to switch the dark shot out, then it'd be forced to come in alongside something. Right. I think Fox Light is probably not free to play, just going to keep going for it. And those potential for flinches are going to stop his opponent. No extreme speed or anything, just rock slide. Arcanine recovering up its hit points with that berry. We're going to be able to take another one of those. Papu Koko goes for the Thunderbolt, is going to target down the Snorlax, easily the threat. <laughs> Off. Snorlax really needs a recycle right now. Flare Blitz will be enough to pick up the KO. Please don't, come on. Please don't be paralyzed. Don't be paralyzed. Don't be paralyzed. Don't be paralyzed. Yes! 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 Woo! Saving the earth! Woo! It's a really good time to get a recycle and be able to do more. Obviously, it's more than expected for us. It's a good thing to look at that facade. Save the earth! It's a monstrous play. Now, he is in a position where he can probably avoid some rock slides, attack through the rocks, but if he wants to get some damage, he's gone. Then, he doesn't need to do a full rock out without the damage. All he needs to do is just get it lowered up. So much toxic poison is going to be doing more. Of course, there's no way for all to reset. Here comes the rock slide, still connecting, dealing damage to the Arcanine. No, it's a flinch. Don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch. KO on Arcanine, so this blizzard from Nine will not be full power onto Snorlax. Oh! That was a crit! Come on! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh no! As a sash! Oh my god! Oh! Yes! Yes! Yes!